morning, this is Engineer 775. I'm on site near Savannah, Georgia. Don't usually come this far to do a job, but uh, it's kind of nice when it gets cold to come to be able to coordinate <laughs> doing a job in a warmer area. So it's about 40 degrees here this morning. It's very nice. Um, we got here late. It's a long drive, about five hours. Um, I had to couldn't find a machine so I had to bring my skid steer so I could pound the posts so um, Did a new move this time hired a hot shot Truck driver to bring a ground mount and two pallets of panels and a bunch of our gear And then uh, we hauled our stuff with two trucks and two trailers. So we were able to get here and bring everything day one so uh, and in this location, because we're close to the coast, the engineering had to be a little fine-tuned. So we actually, these are 14-foot posts. They're driven nine feet in the ground. And, uh, and I would say they're fairly straight. You can see through the holes and all of that. So that, we got done just before dark last night. So we're going to build the ground mount this morning. Uh, they just dropped off the excavator for me. It's a bummer when you rent, they never put a thumb on the excavator, which is such an important tool when you're re getting rid of roots and got to go through trees like I'm about to. So we're going to do houses over there. We're going to be putting the inverter and uh, all the gear over there. And then we're customer wants to build a house or a building up here where the skid steer sits. So we're going to bring 200 amp service we're gonna mount a panel, a pass-through panel on this post, and our DC, and we're gonna conduit here, and basically have a pass-through panel to provide future power for this building he wants to add. And then I'm also gonna run a, a well line down there, a 10-2 down to run his well pump. So there's quite a few, I don't say quite a few add-ons, but while the ditch is open, gotta take advantage of it. So we're gonna run some triplex, we got lots to do so what, the way we kind of attack these jobs is three days of blitz in the job and then uh, solve all the mysteries of where things are septic systems wires and plumbing and do all of that rough in work mount inverters get everything on there Chris came down to join us and he's keeping us straight doing a little filming you gonna run that Okay, cool. And uh, so we we had a little glitch in uh, getting materials here. I, <laughs> I had to send somebody to go get my disconnects that I forgot to put on the truck. Unbelievable. And some other things. But uh, it's okay. So this trenching path is flagged out. I got to get digging. There's a lot of stuff to hand dig around the house. We'll show you the mech room later. But... A little overwhelming and when you get when everything is landed and dropped off and it's like we got so much work to do which is kind of fun you're not looking for something to do the first three days of one of these jobs it's like just start taking a bite out of the elephant one at a time all right so we're uh rental company just dropped off the takahuchi takuchi and uh tb230 and we'll hopefully they got it set up the way I'm used to running one. And you probably already know that, but there's a universal backhoe controls, and then there's the skid steer controls, and usually you can change them, so hopefully that will be the case. I better check it before the guy leaves. We'll see you.
had the steel up and being tightened down. Um, I wasn't sure in the beginning, but this customer was very serious. You never know, but he was so serious. He had his, he had the power moved over, he had the power company. Those lines, if you can see them, were right next to those trees. So he had to move his power. They moved, he got the utility to move. That usually doesn't happen. So the entire overhead service was moved out of the way. It used to line up with this pole here. And so we could fit the array within the property limit. I had to be 40 feet off the property line. Ah, there's a lot of just, and then he wants to put a future building here. So there wasn't much room to put the array, but I think we finally squeezed it in. We might still do some tree mitigation here, shade mitigation. We're gonna run, we're gonna feed this. this. His house runs off of this. I hope I don't hit it too many times, but we're going to provide a new power feed to this, fix any broken plumbing because this old well is abandoned and so it's about time to start doing some trenching and then we'll get glass on here. Okay, we're back the next week. We got our ground mount done, but now we're back building out the electrical. And this is a new one. I don't have a mechanical room. This will be my first outdoor install. I've resisted doing this, but I'm doing it. So when you go outdoor or damp location, you've got to have... NEMA 3R stuff. You gotta have outdoor rated gutters, outdoor Myers hubs. You spend a lot more money on electrical parts to do all this outdoor work that you don't have to do if it's in a mechanical room. We're going with the ESP, the Endure batteries. This is an EMP hardened system. And this is the first time I got this. B, they're called BU30 cabinets. So they hold 30,000 watts. 30 kW of storage. So these are six six battery cabinets. Cabinets that hold six batteries. And we're using the Endure with the iron phosphate batteries that are over here. We're going to start with eight, and he has room for four more depending on how the usage goes. So there's an array out there. So we're getting set up to, we're kind of laying things out. We got a lot of sub feeds and we got another, I don't want to say wrench thrown in the works. The utility is demanding a meter, a meter on, on the load side of our inverter. We've never had to do that before. So instead of arguing, I'm just going to go ahead and do it and we're going to jump her across anyway. Let me know what you think of that. And then we're going to add a pass-through panel because the customer has some future needs for power and some shipping containers. Pass-through panel, fusible disconnect, bypasses, a lot of electrical equipment that we're adding to make this work. I'm going to put a microwave in that condensing unit. And now Willis is pulling the meter so we can get to, get to working. And then... Uh, there he goes, he's pulling the meter. I guess that's it. So for now, we gotta get this gutter up, we gotta get this inverter mounted. And then the customer is gonna build a couple of walls. He's gonna build a wall right down here and a wall this way, at least a half wall. And he's gonna put a ceiling, a ceiling in. So this is gonna be protected. It's a really nice cabinet. So there's still, there's a lot of protection. However, it's not an outdoor battery cabinet. Um, so he is going to build some walls to protect it, which I'm glad. And that the water, the wall, <laughs> wind coming across this small lake can be pretty intense. So we want, I don't want it splashing all over the inverter anyway. Oh, okay. So we're going to have inverter, meter, bypass, and we want to make sure we have a good three foot beyond the gutter working zone. So, all right, we'll be back. Okay, Engineer 775, on the last day, it's a wrap. We just passed our inspection. Of course, that air conditioner had to come on. So we got our 15K in. Oh, it's gonna be a noisy one, sorry, folks. And so we're minimizing, you see no grid being used, battery's full, and we're just running the house on solar. That's what we like. Oh, thank you, shut off. And 
this kind of looks crazy here. The customer is building a wall here. We're going to put an outdoor panel, a uh, smart load panel. When we come back here, while we're here, we he added a lot of things. So we're going to run an ice maker maybe and an aerator for that lake off of the smart load capability. When there's excess solar, we're going to dump it to ice, make some solar ice. We're going to come back and finish up our battery. Um, we're possibly going to add some, and they didn't send the right cable, so I'm only running four. I need to be running eight. And that's that's that, because they didn't give me the right cable. I got the high voltage cabling, which was unfortunate. So good thing we're coming back. We've got all sorts of things to do. Hook up the well. Guys hate being on camera. They start running away. So, uh, good job, guys. Don't Why are you running away? You guys did awesome. Thank you for bailing me out again. Merry Christmas. Um, we are pretty much done. We're going to come back and spend a couple days adding a lot of things that the customer has requested. So, that's nice. And we like coming down here. It's warm and there's great seafood. So, that's a hint. But we are in an undisclosed location. So, And we're going to sub-feed a shipping container over that way. we got a lot to do when we come back. But we're ready to go home and enjoy our Christmas. All right, this is Engineer 775, signing out. <laughs>